Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from my kitchen. Who doesn't love jackfruit, right? How many jackfruit lovers here? The magical thing about jackfruit is that each part has a different taste and texture. Okay friends, let me tell you, today's recipe is not about the fruit but about the seeds. So next time when you get your hands on some jackfruit, be sure to save the seeds so that you can make this hearty, yummy jackfruit seeds curry or snack. Jackfruit seeds can simply be enjoyed right away after boiling in salted water. However, if you are looking to jazz up things a bit, you can toss them in some uh, aromatics or seasonings to your preference. Little bit of patience is needed to cook this as we have to take off the outer white skin first and then pressure cook. You can also allow the jackfruit seeds to dry in open air for few days to ease the process of removing the outer skin. To make it quicker and easier, you can either dry roast the seeds in a kadai for some time so that the outer part comes off easily or microwave for 3 to 4 minutes. So today I am going to microwave them. Make sure that you grease your fingertips with oil before removing the papery white skin to prevent the milk from making your fingers sticky. Cut each seed into two halves horizontally. Peel the thin white film like skin off the seeds to show the brown skin below and keep them aside. So once you have removed the skin, now you need to pressure cook them. Place the seeds in a pressure cooker, add a little salt and water till the seeds are immersed. Pressure cook for about 3 to 4 whistles. The cooking time will depend on the quality of the seeds. Less number of whistles for uh, tender ones and more if they are more matured. So just judge the cooking time based on your pressure cooker and the jackfruit seeds. But do not cook them too mushy. Strain the seeds into a colander to let the water drain away completely. So now let's start making the curry. Heat a pan with oil over medium heat. Add mustard seeds. Cumin seeds. Fennel seeds, chana dal, urad dal, and dry red chili. Once the mustard seeds crackle and lentils start to turn brown, add some curry leaves. Now add in chopped onions and saute until they turn translucent. Add turmeric powder and sambar powder. I'm using sambar powder but you can use any spice powder to your liking or just use the regular chilli powder and some uh, coriander powder. Mix everything well. Add a little water and salt to the mixture. Carefully add salt as it's already added uh, while pressure cooking the seeds. The little water is added to the onion mixture so that the sambar powder could coat uh, well with the seeds. So do not add more water. Now add the cooked jackfruit seeds and mix well. Simmer the heat and stir fry. In case you want it uh, to be like a little uh, gravy consistency, then you can add a little more water. Let the curry cook well for about 8 to 10 minutes till it becomes like a roast, but keep tossing in between. Garnish with some coriander and serve hot. You can have it either as a snack or side dish to rice along with some sambar or rasam. But let me tell you, it also pairs very well with curd rice. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and share it with your family and friends. If you are here for the first time, please do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for new updates. You can also follow me on other social media platforms. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's me Padma signing off.